to start a little early. Someone asked, is this racist? Yeah, it's racist. But more yeah. importantly, SB 185 is racist. Oh, okay. And this is a satire to call attention to that fact. I don't like fake sales. I don't like making distinctions about people on the basis of race. But sometimes you have to do things that are that that are wrong in order to correct that which is even more wrong. Okay. So could, I'm happy to buy all of them. Could I buy all of them? Um, they won't let me buy all of them. The goal of the bake sale was to create a, a dialogue or a debate on campus. Before, when the student government decided to endorse SB 185 and sponsor a phone bank, there was a one-sided conversation with only representing one view on this campus. By sending a message to Jerry Brown making phone calls and saying Berkeley students support SB 185, that sends a message that all students want that uh, bill passed and all students support that bill. But we wanted to come out here and say that not all Berkeley students have the same political views. It's not a 100% liberal campus, we have other views, and we're here to show that. So how it seems to work on this campus is that if you're a liberal and you want to voice a concern, you can take over a campus building and prevent thousands of students from accessing the services that either they or their parents paid thousands of dollars to obtain. But if you're a conservative and you want to voice opposition to some pending legislation by selling cupcakes, the student body will threaten to defund your club. The administration will send out a wide email publicly condemning your club and its event as contrary to the aims of the university. Well, Chancellor Berger now, no, uh, far from living up to its supposed aims, this institution demonstrates on a daily basis that it cares far more about politics, political correctness, and demagoguery than about either education or free inquiry, which is what I stand here today defending.